Welcome back. My second guest today is the director of the Bobby Shackles Technical Communication Program in the Bagley College of Engineering, Mr. John Bricato. John, great to have you here. Thank you. Um, now, usually when people think of engineering, they think math and, and science. Um, and so technical communication is, is more of the, the humanities, the, the English side of things. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of the program and, and how it evolved and, and how it came to be in the, in the college? Sure. So I was hired in 1999 to start the program and develop the required course for all engineering undergraduates. Prior to that, their writing experience at the professional level was handled through a course in the English department. And I had taught there as a, as a lecturer for a while and, and heard about the job opening and applied and got it. And so I, I began, and, and this was right around the time of the, the new ABET criteria, uh, right before the year 2000. And so we were hired to help uh, sort of augment the communication experiences of students. And that's been our charge from day one, is to help uh, undergraduate and graduate students in the college to improve their writing and their speaking. And so, when students come in your class and they, they say to you, why do I need to have another writing class? I've already taken my English comp. What do you typically tell them? Well, I, I try to approach it by the Socratic method and ask them why, why are you here? Why are you supposed, to, why, why do you think you're required to take this class? And of course, uh, some of them say, well, just because we have to. And then we get past that and we talk about the, you know, the actual reasons. And a few of them will eventually figure out, oh, I, I guess we're supposed to say that we're gonna do this as professionals. And that's, of course, that's the answer. And that's, you know, we extrapolate on that in class that in fact, you know, contrary to what some of the stereotypes would indicate, engineering is a very heavily communicative profession, especially in this day and age. And so even those students who may have gotten away from English or the humanities because they thought they weren't good at it and their strengths uh, lay in math and science, the reality is they're gonna have to do a lot of communicating. In fact, one of the most common things we hear from former students when they email us after they've graduated and entered the workforce is, uh, to tell us how valuable the class was to them because they communicate way more than they thought they were going to, even though we told them that. They may not remember that we told them, or maybe they weren't listening at the time, but they, but they realize, wow, this is, you know, this is something that I do a lot. I'm not using differential equations or lab procedures nearly as much as I am writing reports, writing emails, you know, talking to people on an interpersonal level, uh, leading panel discussions, or, or t you know, talking to, to small groups and things like that. Uh, so that's that we from day one. That's we introduce that that it's not just a it's not just a, a, a line on their curriculum or a box to be checked off, but th it's actually something useful to them. And, yeah. and that's how we approach it. And you know we hope that they that they will take that away from the class. And and in the class, I mean, it's technical communication. So they learn to write, they learn to, to speak and present. But there's actually a little bit more to it than that in terms of what they learn in the in the class. Right. So. It, you know, it, it comes in a sequence after comp one and two. So in a sense, it's, it's, it's a type of advanced competition, or advanced composition. It builds on comp one and two. And so we, we, we address matters more related to uh, writing style and, a, you know, a beginning to cultivate a professional writing style. And the same with presenting. Many of them have had uh, public speaking or speech. And so we try to build on that as a, as a foundation, you know, to give them some more experience at it. But one of the, one of the, main other uh, modules that we get to in that class is ethics. Uh, we talk a lot about engineering ethics. And of course, engineering ethics itself is a, is a vast field, you know, all on its own. So we look at engineering ethics through the prism of communication because technical communication especially carries with it an, an innate ethical component, uh, in part because of the types of projects that, that engineers work on that have such a direct impact on the public and on public safety. Therefore, the communication about those projects always has to show the writer as being honest, transparent, writing clearly. All the things that go into making good writing also make for ethical writing. And so we use a lot of different case studies, primarily the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster because it's one of the more famous ones. But we look at some other ones too, the uh, levees in Hurricane Katrina and the St. Francis Dam failure back in the 1920s, and look at the communication that was involved in that. Uh, in addition to that, we also do a lot with multidisciplinary collaboration uh, because our class is one of the few where every major is present at some point. And so we try to, to, to get them together in teams that they might not otherwise work in. And regardless of the makeup of the team, 
you know, especially at their stage, having to work with other people and learn to compromise and communicate, you know, clearly and, and be fair with everybody and uphold, you know, their end of the bargain and so forth. They, they always need more experience with that. So we try to fold that in as well. And the, the past couple of years, you've taken a, a, a class to Germany during the summer as well. Right. Can you quickly tell me about your experiences there? Well, it was fantastic. Uh, it, it was, uh, the, the idea behind it was that a, a required class would make for a good, good study abroad experience uh, because we might get more students in there. And so that's, that's what we did. And, and so for, for those two summers, we, we went and did our class over there and, and, of course, took advantage of the fact that we were in Europe and saw many cultural sites and tried to, to fold in some, some things about Germany or, or German engineering into some of our assignments. Uh, and then we had saved some time to have some fun as well. But uh, that was, it was a really good experience for all of them. Uh, I stay in touch with all of them and they talk about you know, how, what, what a difference it's made and, and how it sort of broadened their horizons and so forth. So yeah. that was a really great experience for all of us. Great. John, it's been a real pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you so much. Uh, that's all we have time for today. Don't forget you can always follow us on social media through um, Twitter and Facebook at MSU Engineering. And uh, that's our show for today. Thank you for joining us.